All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Master Mark, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Darkwood. Now, for those unaware, Darkwood is an isometric, surreal survival horror game. Sorry for throwing so many adjectives at you there, but that's the best way to describe it. It's a really spooky game. It's really creepy, and I loved playing it back like a year ago. A year ago, I did a, a Let's Play. It was one of my first of it in the Alpha, I think it was like Alpha 7. And it was a way long ago. We didn't even get to the end of the game. But I enjoyed it so much I felt like, hey, now that we've got this full release, why don't we go ahead and try again? So that's what I'm here to do. I just want to play this game and I want to finish it this time. I have some semblance of knowledge as to what to do. I am not going in completely blind, however I haven't played it in a year, so I'm sure that there's a lot that has changed. So let's go ahead and say, see 9.1 was the last time I even touched this game. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom one. Difficulty, hard. Let's see, let's look at these ones. Death is permanent. We're going to go with hard mode, because I'm always the type to say that, hey, hard mode is cool. Skip prologue. I'm not playing for the first time, but I remember the prologue used to be cool, so I'd like to play it just, just so that way you guys can see what it's like. Indiegogo. This is new. This option enables additional cool but immersion breaking content. I don't remember this being here, but you know what? Let's play with it, because why not? Wait a minute. Oops. Yes. Oh, the play button's up here. My bad. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and play. It's been a while, and I'm, I'm, I've always been pretty uh, keen to come back to this game. I really enjoyed my first playthrough, and I've just always been waiting for an excuse to play it again on my channel. And so now that we're coming back, I, I'm really excited. I really like the aesthetics of it. Now, as we said before, in the hard mode, there is a limited number of lives. I believe the number of lives you have is four. And in my last playthrough, I made it pretty far, but I did die four times, and I unfortunately did not see the end of the game. Hopefully, though, that won't be the case here. Hopefully, we won't have so many deaths in the early game, because I have some semblance of how to properly play this game. Prologue. I'm getting excited. Well, I've been excited. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. Was this in here for... I don't think this was here before. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. Yeah, I think this might be new. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I wonder who's saying this. I have nowhere to hide from them. Nowhere to run. The woods have been closed us off from the outside world. Hmm. We are all doomed. And alright. Okay, I guess we're we're in now. All right, here we're in, it's been a while. F, E to examine? No, left click. Potatoes, the only edible thing growing on this land, I still have some left. Alcohol distiller, homemade for moonshine. Medical notes, I know these notes by heart, I don't want to read them now. What's in here? Some pills and a notepad. There's nothing on it, okay, that's fine. Nothing through that window. Let's go ahead and open this up, why don't we? Oh, I'm going to need some time to uh, get used to the controls again. Generator is almost out of juice. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Alright, we're going to need some fuel. My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. Alright, that's cre creepy. 120685. I don't know what that is. Looks like a person maybe or a savage I don't know medical bag can't hurt to bring it with us 
An old camera. Nice. Okay. Now it seems to be urging us to go outside. It's locked. Left the key in the wardrobe. That's locked. I spent... I'd rather not open it. I spent too long locking him up in there. Alright, I'll take your word for it. No, the wardrobe's in here. I'm just looking around. My bed. I've just woken up. The radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Alright, here's the wardrobe. Um, key! There it is. My medical book. Hmm. That's a medical book, alright. Well, alright, let's go ahead and go outside. Now that we've got the key, use the key. Open the door. Everybody walk the dinosaur. I feel like I forgot to take something with me. Alright, I guess I should get the rest of the stuff from the wardrobe then. Is there something else here? Open this. Shouldn't enter it by now. Alright. If he feels like we're, we're forgetting something, let's search around. Alright, I think I've searched this entire place. Yeah, I don't see anything. I guess we have it now. Close the door behind us. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. Ugh, that's not nice. A wooden doll. Large human doll with the face cut out. That's that's also not encouraging. Okay. Hmm. Probably should have kept him inside if it's out here and dangerous. This dangerous out here, I mean. Hmm. I wonder if there's, like, something around here. Oh, hey, is that an axe? All right, there's an axe. How do I open my inventory? E R Y I O space M tab 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 it is. All right, we'll use the axe as our weapon. I suppose we should put the dog out of its misery. That seems to be the most appropriate action here. I would say that's what I'd do. All right, no longer suffering. I guess that's one problem solved. You can call that a problem. Or you could call that solved. Alright, smash this tree. Smash it and get on through. There's a bear trap. Pick it up. There's a dead cow. Grab the bone. There's a speed limit sign. Alright, let's just keep on going. There's a path this way, apparently. Let's check the map. Looks like we're trying to go over here. So let's go ahead and keep moving. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. Understandable. These are pretty... It's pretty thick. It's pretty... It's pretty thick woods. Location found. Fallen tree. Burned campfire. Let's grab all that stuff, why don't we? Now let's keep going. Whoops, wrong way. Gotta go up here. It's dark. I should craft a torch. Good idea. Let's go ahead and make one. There's the torch. Go ahead and put it in item slot number two. Hmm. Yep, sure is dark. That's for sure. Looks like leaves cover up uh, land, so that way we can't see what's under it. Let's climb over this fence real quick. And this guy's got quite the receding hairline, he doesn't he? An abandoned house. Reminds me of my hairline. Well, actually mine is more... Uh, it's a corpse. In a few days it'll be completely absorbed. The heck is that? I don't know. Rags. Alright, let's get back to talking about my hairline then. Something a little less creepy. Yeah, my hairline isn't quite like that. Mine is more of a uh, balding from the top back. But you know what? That's not... That's not relevant right now. Let's keep moving through this dark area. You know what? It's not dark anymore. Let's move through with the axe in hand. Oh, hey! It's a guy! I think this one is still breathing. Search him. Big metal key. If there is an exit out of these woods, the key will surely open it. 21. Alright. 
I guess we have the key now. That's nice. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Oh, this is creepy. But that... He is a doctor, so I'm sure he would know that, how to do something like this. Is of no importance. Very interesting use of imagery so far in this prologue. I have a hard time remembering which bits are naturally of it. I need to get out of this accursed forest. I have a hard time remembering what is properly in here and what is from before. Show me how and I will let you go. Like, it's been so long. It's been like a year. Sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. What was that? Is that a windows noise? Where is the exit? Hmm. Looks like he's trying to interrogate me. I'm not sure. For those of you who are just listening to this and not watching. Ooh. There are there isn't really any voice acting in this game. It's all done by text. Which I personally like. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to read all of them out loud, or if I want, if you guys want me to or not. Feel free to tell me in the comments if you want me to read out all the text. Because with stuff like this, I feel like just me reading it out, it's there in the center, it's easy to read. Tell me guys if you think otherwise. But alright, looks like we've broken out of the chair. And that fucker stole our key. Dang right he did. What do I got in my clothes? A rag and a wire. I'm hurt. I could use these bandages to craft some band... Okay, I can use these to craft some bandages. Alright. Now here we are as our main protagonist. We're playing as the proper main camp protagonist now. That doctor from before was just sort of a tutorial bit. He's also the guy who has our key. Small Stellar. Let's use the lockpick. Never mind, I gotta make the lockpick. And then we'll use the lockpick. Now let's open it up. Unlocked. Shovel. Flashlight. Just what I needed. There we are. Now we're ready to party. Wooden door barricaded. Not for long, it's not. Here I come, doctor man. Doctor bad guy. I'm here to get my key back. Uh, this item is no longer usable. I need to repair it. That's not good. Alright. Oh! He turned off the light. I don't like that. Here's a syringe. Okay, I need to find something to protect myself. Because I don't, I don't like this. Yeah, it looks like he cut the power. I don't like this. I need to find something to do use. There's the radio. Okay, where's the generator? Where's that? Wardrobe, anything? At I don't like that. Excuse me while I just, uh, just hide in here for a little while. Can we turn on the generator? Generator's out of juice. Metal table. I don't like that. That's also creepy. What's in this crate? Please tell me it's a weapon. Gasoline. Table leg. Alright, table leg. We can work with that. Can I reuse the table leg to repair the shovel? No, I can't. But hey, it's something. Oops, I dropped the gasoline. But there it is. Alright. This time, we're gonna take the gasoline. We're gonna put it in the generator. And it's gonna be a great time. Let's refill this guy. This old thirsty boy here. Hmm. Those, those sound effects. That's good stuff. There we are. Now we're on. Okay. That's not how I remembered him looking. The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a distorted voice. 
Barely distinguishable from radio stat static. I wonder, is that real? Or is that just the guy's mind messing with him? Okay, I need to find a code for this door. Who's there? Alright. Please let me out. Okay, that's the guy there. I don't think we can do much to help him. Barricade is too small, strong to dismantle. 4892. Let's try that. 4, 8, 9, 2. Got it. The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force. Bam. There we are. Opened up. Who's back there? Are you cool? Whoa! Not cool. Hey, stop that. You want to dance? Looking to fight? I guess so. Alright, that's the problem dealt with. Get a small plastic chick. Okay. Let's go ahead and ho see what's in his room. Close that door behind us. Oh, don't tell me he locked us in here, did he? And how do you want to get... Oh, oh. Mistakes were made. You think you'll manage all by yourself? What? Hear it? Yeah, I hear that. I don't like it. Those doors are gone. I don't like this. I really don't like this. I don't know where it's coming from, but I don't like it. Oh, it's coming from in there. Okay, no, I'm ru- Whoop. Alright. Okay. Still not sure what happened. Not sure what happened there. Something came in through the window, and then it was cut to black. That's fine. That's fine. I guess someone found us? Okay, he offers a hand. Hmm. Alright, interesting stuff. I don't know what to make of that. Chapter 1. And here we are in the main game! Oven. Look at it. Oops. Well, I, I didn't mean to enter this, but let's go ahead and describe it. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the house cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain in my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Examine the oven. When I arrived here a few couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just need to light it up to ensure my safety. The cottage must have been one of our hideouts. This inhabitants would have, of the woods wouldn't need to inhale this revolting gas. Alright, look at the bottle. The label says... Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after midnight results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning, even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Stay vigilant. It is recommended to stay well inside a well-lit indoor, well indoor areas in order to minimize risk. What's, what's the deal with the pot? Small empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't think about one thing. Mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms, they look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Cook? Alright, I don't have any mushrooms, so I can't really cook. Alright, so I guess before we uh, go on... Before we go on, we'll just go ahead and look around here. Photo of a road. The road home. Cool photo. So just real quick before we end. Okay, so we barricaded some of the windows. Before we end this episode, we're just going to go ahead and look around the house. And I guess we'll try and make a weapon at the workbench there. 
Because we currently don't have a weapon. And we're going to want to find one. There's a bear trap. Got to watch out for that. Alcohol, rope, bottle. Mushroom book. The use of mushrooms in the household. That's Polish writing, all right. I can't read that one bit. Um, bed, lamp, window. All right. We're going to need a couple wood boards before we make our... Generator is half empty. Contains enough gasoline for one more night. We should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. So I guess that's where we'll be going soon, then. Okay. Wood logs. Don't have any logs to work with. That's a shame. Can I build a well? No, I need wood and... I need wood. I need wood and I don't have any. That is not ideal. What's the code here? Is it 4892? That was the code from the uh, tutorial. It's worth a guess. Wrong code. All right. Not it. And we don't have any wood to make ourselves a weapon yet. So we're going to be out without a weapon on our first day, unfortunately. Did I search that there thing? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's just search it one more time just to be sure. Yep, searched. All right. There's our bed. Now, before we end this up... I guess we're going to end this here. I don't want this episode to go too long. So we're going to end this here. And I'm going to do my outro in the pause menu. Because I think we're burning daylight if we just sit around in the base while we do the outro. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, feel free to hit a like to make sure you guys want to see this content. And want to see me keep making this content. If you have any comments, suggestions, jokes, or observations... Feel free to put them in the comment section below. It never hurts to be extra aware. And if you want to see future installments of this series, feel free to hit that subscribe button. All in all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Darkwood. Bye!